A neighborhood crime alert that is costly for business owners. Catalytic converters like these stolen from people's vehicles. These kind of thefts have been a problem for a long time now. And tonight, a local business owner is speaking with News for Jax about his experience. Reporter Joe McLean joining us live on the South Side. Joe, this business owner is boosting security after his truck was hit. Right, this truck is the one that was hit, and uh, its owner, Bram Scharf, says uh, he got up early uh, last month. He was going to move his truck, but he immediately noticed when he started it that something was not right. And as soon as I started my engine, it sounded like a NASCAR um, loud noise that I had never heard before, and so I immediately shut it off. What Brand Scarf did not know at that point is that someone had stolen the catalytic converter from the underside of his truck. Scarf called his auto-savvy son, and together they found the answer. So we got on FaceTime, and I actually went under my truck and showed him what was going on, and sure enough, one of the catalytic converters was totally gone. Um, just cut clean through the pipes taken and the other one was uh, still there, but the pipe had been cut all the way through and partially cut in another spot, so they didn't finish. This problem is not new. In April, the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office issued a warning about an uptick in catalytic converter thefts. And on Christmas Eve, a local bakery outlet was hit by thieves. The converters taken out of eight of the business's trucks. So th that's what that's where the that's what they're looking for. Kenny Wilson yeah, owns a local muffler about. shop and said this kind of crime is not an uncommon complaint. It seems to pick up around the 15th of the month. We seem to get a lot of calls on people waking up with loud cars, converters being gone. Wilson said that thieves who steal these auto parts would then need to sell them off to someone, but they often run into obstacles when they try that. These guys that legitimately buy converters will not buy a stolen converter. If you don't have a reason to own it, they're not going to buy it from you. It's illegal for them to buy it. Scharf said the impact of this crime hit harder because his is a small business. He said he's taking increased security measures so that it doesn't happen again. And we're back here live. You saw a shot of it. Here's a live look. That camera is installed in the window of this business now. He also uh, uh, installed these motion activated lights here. And of course, he's got a sign here uh, indicating that there is security on the premises. So uh, this is what law enforcement say is a good idea to do if you want to try to deter some of these criminals. Uh, park your car, your vehicle in a well lit parking lot. Uh, use security cameras, motion activated security cameras if possible and of course use your car alarm those might help you prevent becoming a victim of one of these thieves reporting live i'm joe mclean channel 4 the local station